Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Summers, your art teacher again. Uh, this week, I thought we would start introducing some Halloween fun. Uh, if you are not allowed to do Halloween projects, then I will put an alternative fall project for you that's also fun. And this is what we will be making, Frankenstein. Now, Frankenstein can look many different ways. Here's a different one with some wild spiky hair. And I even did a Lady Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein with the wild poofy hair. So you can do some alternative designs yourself on this project. I'll give you the basics and then we'll get going and you'll have a good time. Okay, so to start making Frankenstein, I'm going to do it a little bit different than this, but you can look at this and do it the same. I want to put a neck on my Frankenstein, so I'm going to cut just a little bit off. I made a six inch square um, or a rectangle earlier. I cut my paper in half. It was a nine by 12 sheet, cut it in six. And now I'm going to use part of this that I cut off for the neck. And then the other part I will actually use for ears, which this one doesn't have. So if you like the more boxed version like this one, you can do it like it. But I'm gonna make this one a little bit different. So I'll put my neck on. Then with this paper, I'll fold it in half, this little bit. I'm going to make a rainbow shape for the ears. You can draw it on first if you'd like. So you take your paper and make it a rainbow shape. And I'll cut on the line here. All right, so now I can have some ears. I'm gonna rub a little bit of glue on the side where I'm going to stick those ears. Okay, there's one, there's two. And I'm going to flip it over so that those ears don't look like that. Okay, so now there is Frank. All right, so I've traced a couple circles out on white paper. And I've traced a couple circles out on black paper. I can go ahead and put the glue where I want those eyes. Okay, and the little circles I'll rub on the glue so that I don't get glue all over the white area, just where I want it to be. And I think I'll have them looking to the side on mine. All right, so I'll rub it on there. Okay, next we have a strip of paper. Now you can give it a haircut however you want. If you just want it to be blocked like that, if you want it to have zigzags at the top like this, you can do that. Or if you want them to have a spiky hairdo, you can do it like this. All right, but first I'm going to make a couple eyebrows. I'm just making a couple strips of paper that look like a rectangle. And I'll glue those on. And since Frankenstein is usually a monster, I'll make him look a little bit mean on this one where his eyebrows are slanted like he's upset. <laughs> Need to glue a little bit more there. Okay, now his hair, like I said, if, if you want it to be a zigzag or if you want it to be strips um, for the spiky hair, you can run a line of glue and then just put the little pieces going up for the zigzag hair. You'll just go like triangle shapes, cut out triangle shapes across your page. And then when you get to the other side, All right, put 
some glue up here for that to rest on. All right, so now he's looking pretty good. Uh, with your remaining strip of black paper, you can make him stitches by just cutting little bitty lines. All right, and put your stitches where you want them to be. Again, rub on glue to the stitches instead of the green so we don't have all that extra glue on our face that makes it unattractive. Rub this across. Make as many stitches as you want. Okay. All right, if you wanted to make his mouth with the remainder of the black paper, you could make a little mouth shape. Now, his eyebrows say he's unhappy, so I could do something like this for his mouth, or I could do just a straight line, kind of like his eyebrows. All right. I think I will go with the straight line, kind of like his eyebrows this time. All right. Or if you have a Sharpie, you could just draw it on if you'd like. Now for the nose, I cut a strip of paper in a small, skinny strip like this. And then I fold it to make a triangle. I fold it into little strips like this. And I make a triangle shape. And then I fold it again. All right. So if you make like a letter D with it, that will work. You just want it to be able to stand up so it's not just a flat nose. All right. And I make it resemble a triangle shape like this. And then I put it here so it looks like he has a nose that sticks up. It does not have to be like that. You could just draw a nose if you want. And then at the end, I make a couple bolts for his neck. And they just are the like the letter T. And that's, that's it.